Dennis Morris students are preparing to hit the stage and take the audience back to the 80s. Next week, they open the curtain on The Wedding Singer. Well, we chose The Wedding Singer because we thought it would be something a lot of fun. Like in the past, we've done a lot of traditional musicals, and which are great as well, but we wanted to see something with a lot of color, a lot of um, fun songs, and the 80s, just a fun era. I grew up in the 80s, so <laughs> uh, it was exciting. And um, The awesome thing about uh, The Wedding Singer is no local high schools have done it yeah. before, so we really liked that idea. The cast and crew are looking forward to continuing the school's legacy of stage success. What kind of challenges does your role present to you? Um, many challenges. Uh, the role of Julia is fun to play. Um, my character is a lot like myself, so I understand how she feels sometimes, but a lot of the times I was faced with new things that I had to try, but they just made me a stronger person, I guess. The storyline is exactly like the Hollywood movie, but in terms of the music, it's, no, it's, it's completely different. It's more music and it's, it's more fun. There is plenty of action on stage and off as the cast of 24 have multiple outfit changes throughout the show. It gets really busy backstage and on the sidelines. So along with the people, the stuff. We have tons, tons of, of stuff. stuff. Tons of 80s stuff. Yes. The music and the band are on stage as opposed to inside the pit because we really thought it reflected that era to see the musicians playing. It's awesome. It gives the students a better vibe for it. Um, I know the sheet music itself is a very complicated. It's, complicated. it's very complicated. So they've had to work, practice tons, not just at school, but at their own, at home, practicing nonstop. So. The Wedding Singer capitalizes on society's continued fascination with the 80s. Um, the 80s were very, a very energetic decade from what I understand. I, was in, I never lived there, but from what I understand it was very energetic, very bright, and the cast and the characters that are in the show really reflect the brightness of the 80s, and the kids have a lot of energy, so and it makes the show pop really with how much energy pain. there is. Look, I'll get my signature. Your reaction to, to that era of music, of clothes, etc. Oh, well, the clothes and the hairstyles, I completely disapprove, but the music is extremely good. Um, I find a lot of it, like, upbeat, and it's just very energetic, and I love it. It's very original. Does Julia become a Gulia? Does Robbie find true love? All will be revealed April 23rd, 24th, and 25th at Dennis Morris. To reserve your tickets, call the school. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.